Hi guys, you're watching Interesting and Ficus. We want to make a 5 square meters house and make absolutely everything in it. A bathroom, a toilet, a bedroom, a kitchen. Yes, all these will be in 5 square meters. Do you think it's possible? Well, we ourselves don't know yet. Now right before you, we'll try to do it. And before we get started with it, I want you to pause this video and check if you are subscribed to our channel. If you aren't, then make sure to click the button below and subscribe. Let's suppose our house will be located in such a barrel, but we will put it not vertically but horizontally. In the context it will look like this. Let's say we'll have a bedroom here, a living room, a kitchen and a toilet. There will be only one entrance, so if we want to get into some room, then we need to scroll this barrel. I think it will be a cool experiment, no one has ever done it, so we are really interested to see the outcome. I'm sure something will go wrong. I guess that would be enough. So we have already started the work, we began with this support, it is actually large, it's 3 by 3 meter and it turns out that our house with this support stand will be somewhere about 4 and 5 to 5 meters. It would be higher than the swing. The swing is 3 meter and it will be 5 meter, this is gonna be a huge structure, we really want to implement this idea and we're not afraid about it. Well, it actually looks like a ring. We have already made such a platform on which our house will be fixed. We can only hope that this structure will be able to withstand this structure on which we have already used a lot of wooden planks and we still got so many left. Damn, I could have made a warm house for myself with these many planks. Yes, really. But we will have a house that can be rotated. Can you imagine? Well, later I'll move this house to my garden and make a warm house for myself. Well, give it a try, you can't lift it. I'll just roll it, it's round after all. First try to lift it up, it's really heavy. <gasps> I'll do it later. <laughs> Guys, we are shocked by the fact that how much it all weighs. It currently weighs approximately 250 kgs, so it turns out that when we build it completely, it will all weigh somewhere around 500 kgs, that is a half a ton. And now we have a question, will our wheels withstand it all? And how to fix it all? Or maybe all the same, it will roll down itself to my garden and I will have my private warm house. Well, we are not stopping and we are not losing hope. Let's do it and we will try to somehow resolve all these issues and finish the project. According to my first idea, I was thinking of making the wheels somewhere here, but I realized that they couldn't bear such a weight, therefore the wheels will be down and we'll have six of them. Damn, I couldn't understand what kind of wheels it is and how to pump it up, and it turns out that it doesn't need to inflate, it's from some solid material, something similar to polystyrene or polypropyrene. Well, we'll make the axis and it will spin, we'll also make some kind of wooden foundations on which the wheels will be placed. Take a look at here, we navally hope that all these six wheels will spin and we can rotate the house. Can you imagine, we set this whole structure to a level so that there are no distortions, therefore our structure is already centered and it is ready to be lowered onto the wheels. Yes, and you can see all the six wheels already bolted. Well, now our main task is to gently unscrew this board so that it rests smoothly and neatly on the wheels and nothing falls apart. Well, basically we'll have to charm it with all these, but we hope that we'll manage to set up everything. I'm scared, Fika has come here for the support. Well, it turns out if the stick is removed now... Oh god, no! Let's see what happened. See, the whole weight is on this well and it can't withstand it. Can you imagine? We were afraid about the wells, but it so far it looks like they can stand it, so there is optimism. Is the other corner bolted there? Yes, but still there is a hope. Come on! I think they will withstand it. Yes! Whoa, it stood exactly on the wall! So our house is ready and now we need to furnish it. We'll start from the bedroom, then we'll have a bed.
The bag clearly fits here. And I'm finishing the kitchen table because now we'll turn the room to the other side, so we need the kitchen furniture. It spins perfectly, guys! Wow, look at the bat! So we are starting a review of our smart house. Let's start with my coolest and most favorite room. Why it's my most favorite? Well, because there is a bed where I can sleep. Well, because there is a bed where I can sleep. So our bedroom has a bed and a lamp for reading books before bedtime. There are also such decorative elements and such a thing about which I'll tell you in the other room a bit later. By the way, we were figuring out how to use the kitchen table on the side. Sergei suggests attaching a sheet of paper and drawing something, and I suggest fixing a dartboard and play the dart game. Well, what are your opinions? Be sure to write them in the comments. How can we use this table from the bedroom? All right, it's time to spin it and go to the kitchen. Hello, is there anyone? Why are you peeping at my kitchen? Tom, dude, the bed there looks like a wall carpet or USSR, you know? By the way, it looks so cozy here. Yes, well, the kitchen can also be used as a workplace, as an office. Well, it looks exactly like that at the moment, everything's so cozy. I will conduct your interrogations as it happens in the police station. You are involved in plagiarism. I know, confess it right now. Ha, ah, that's funny. You may ask, what is it and what is doing here? Well, if you watched our previous video, then you know that this is a projector. It can also be used in the kitchen, but it is intended for use in another room, which we'll show you later. I'm a Spider-Man. <laughs> nice hat, it looks really good on you. Well, it reminded me the Mario game, there are such mushrooms. Yes. By the way, as you have noticed, this is the only room, or maybe the only zone, in which there is a window. But from another zone, it's not a window. And what it is, I'm gonna show you now. So with one movement of the hand, our window turns into a toilet. And also we have a spray shower here, with different modes. It's actually fancier than my shower at home. Wow, what a great pressure! Yes! This is cool! And the last room is the living room where you can sit with your big company of friends or you can lie down and watch some movies. Especially for this, we fixed the projector here and now we'll make an improvised screen. I think our bed in this situation comes quite handy. We made the correct location of our rooms. We can place a white canvas on the bed on which the movie will be projected. Ideally, it was assumed that when in the evening we would cover the bed with white sheets, then everything would be displayed on them. And when it gets a little darker, there will be a clear picture on it. Starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Guys, the house was certainly not perfect, it had a lot of nuances. But overall our experiment turned out to be successful while well, we have thoughts on how to make a whole house on 5 square meters. If you give this video a lot of likes, then we'll repeat this experiment. But in a slightly different shape. So please appreciate our thoughts with your likes. Write in the comments which room did you like the most. I personally like the kitchen. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. To not miss a new video. Thank you for watching. Until next Sunday. Bye. Blah, blah.